I'm in Windows Server 2022, and I'm going to do a tutorial on the Recycle Bin for Active Directory. We already know what the Recycle Bin is on a regular Windows computer, but for Active Directory, it allows us to undelete or restore a user that may have been deleted. So if I go to Tools and choose Active Directory Administrative Center, then we're going to see the Recycle Bin. I'm going to click on the domain itself in the upper left-hand side. And then off to the right, we see Enable Recycle Bin. Now, if you have multiple domain controllers, they all have to be turned on in order for this to work. So if any is in the process of rebooting or has been shut down for some reason, they all have to be turned on and working in order to enable the Recycle Bin. So once you click on the Enable Recycle Bin, you'll see a message that says the Recycle Bin's been enabled. Now, I've already done that here, and that's because I want to show you what happens after you enable it, and that is you get this new folder called Deleted Objects. Now, if you don't see it yet, just hit the F5 or the Refresh, and then you're going to be able to see this new folder after enabling it. So if I double click on the Deleted Objects, we can see a lot of different objects that have been deleted. Now, all I need to do is to just pick any one of these objects and choose Restore or Restore To. Now, Restore will bring it back to the exact same place where it was, whereas Restore To will allow me to select a specific place. So I'm going to start out by going to my Active Directory Users and Computers program, which is what most people are very familiar with who are in any type of Active Directory position or learning in school, that kind of thing. I'm going to go to Users and highlight my test user that you see here at the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and just choose delete, or you could just hit the delete key with it highlighted, and that user is now gone. Now you can see that the user was in the users folder. So I'm going to go minimize that, go back to my Active Directory Administrative Center and refresh. And I should now see my test user, and there's the test user. Now I can right-click and choose Restore, and if I do that, it'll show up back in the Users folder. Or in this case, I'm going to choose the Restore 2. So I'll click on Restore 2, and I want to move that off to a different folder actually called an organizational unit. So you can tell that something is an organizational unit because you're going to see this little additional icon that shows up here in test, as you see, and also in domain controllers. If you don't see that, then that just means that it's a folder and not an organizational unit. Organizational units allows us to apply group policies to the users and computers and groups in them. So I'll click OK. So it goes to test. You see it disappeared from the recycle bin. I'm going to go back to Active Directory Users and Computers, click on Test, and there is my test user. And you can see I've created multiple test users. One has a space, one doesn't, so it's just slightly different. But just to give you an idea, the test user has been restored. I'm going to delete my test user once again. And this time, I'm going to take a look at right-clicking and choosing the other two options. I can choose the Locate Parent when I click on that. Now, my user is inside a particular organizational unit. So the parent is going to be the test OU. And then above that is going to be the domain itself. And the reason for showing this is you might see multiple layers of organizational units. You might see four or five deep, which, of course, I don't recommend. But it's certainly possible. So by showing the local parent, it shows you what the next level up is. I'm going to go back to my deleted folders by clicking on the back button. And I'm going to highlight my test user. And this time, I'm going to choose Properties. And when I choose Properties, it shows me the properties of this user. There's not a lot of properties to see in this particular one, but it does show me my user ID. So it shows test user, which is the name. And then it shows me the user ID of that user as well. So that way, I can also run other commands against the ID in case I'm not sure what the username is. And there's other commands that where we can use this particular ID for other things. If I go up to Tasks, I can choose Help. We go to Sections. I can choose Add Section to Properties page. And in this case, we only see the general option. So I'll go ahead and click the X to close that out. And this time, I'm just going to hit the Restore. And we see that it has disappeared once again. And I should be able to see it just by going back into the test OU. And there we see our test user. There are all your options for enabling the recycle bin and restoring users. 
And this not only works in Windows Server 2022, but it also works in previous versions as well.